Welcome to Bright Hope Creations. I'm Kara, and today all the buzz is about the new summer lawn fawn kit, Hive 5. And so we're using the Hive 5 stamp set and its coordinating dies, the honeycomb shaker gift tag die, and the honeycomb stencil. And we're going to start with the stencil. And I'm using some Strathmore Bristol Smooth Cardstock and a Scattered Straw Distress Ink. I want to create a background, so I'm going to blend several of these large honeycombs together. Now I'm using Spice Marmalade, and I'll also use Rusty Hinge, and that's going to give me the blend I'm looking for for my honeycomb. Once I'm happy with this blend, I'm going to lift it up just to see, and yes, I am. I'm happy with that. So I'm going to move it over and connect those little lines there. I can see them through the stencil and start again with another section. Now, this section, I did not get close enough. You can see that. They're a little bit further apart. It's not bad, but I am going to fix that a little later. We'll, we'll see how that works, but... Onto another section and that one got closer and here's how I'm fixing it so this stencil has little sections so that you can do all kinds of different techniques but I'm using the little one that kind of looks like a flower to blend some of them together and it's gonna link them and I'll do that throughout and it it's gonna make it all kind of blend well and look like it all is one piece I really love the versatility of this stencil. And okay, so you see, I got kind of carried away. I have plenty for my background and also for my tag and any extras that I want. Then I decided to blend the ink without the stencil so that I could die cut some things to coordinate with my background. Well, here are my pieces all cut out. I have a large stitched rectangle for my background a solid tag back. I cut out the tag front with canned pumpkin and then a background piece with a stitched rectangle in black licorice. Now, here's another great feature about that stencil. It has a single hexagon. So I'm taking that rusty hinge, my darkest color, and blending in some of these hexagons just to give a variation where I want it because I know I have that rectangle of black licorice cardstock that's kind of filling up the middle but to give those uh, to give it that interest around the edges I wanted to have some that were darker and that was a perfect way to do it now the tag die comes with these little honeycomb things which I think are so cool but I'm going to use the insides of those uh, as my shaker bits and so I'm varying the colors there as well so that they don't blend too much with the tag background. I'll set all that aside for now and using some jet black ink I'm stamping out my bees and the hive and I'll also stamp out some extra bees and some more speech bubbles because all of these bees are <sighs> buzzing, having something to say. Uh, there are so many bee puns. I, I um, Boy, <laughs> there's just so much you can do with that. I'm going to try to restrain myself, <laughs> but it's going to be hard. All right, so well, I'll start with my hive and a YR23 is what I'm starting with, but I, the darkest I'm going to go is this YR27 bringing in those shadows for some curves or the roundness, and then I'll blend that in with the YR24. I don't use those YR20s very often, but I really like them. They're a nice honey color. They're, they're kind of that brownish orange color. But I also decided to yellow this hive up a bit. So I'm using my Y23 here, and so I'm using some Y20s. And those Y20s are that buttery yellow color. So they work well together with the YR20s. I'll use an E18 to give some depth to the inside of the hive and blend that together with the YR27. And then I'll use that same YR27 to darken up 
those lines again because they all get blended away, don't they? That's the nice thing about Copic markers or any alcohol marker is that they layer so well. And so if you blend them away, just add them back in. Well, this hive is going inside the shaker and I'm happy with how it looks. So on to the bees. These bees have got to be the happy Beast bees I've ever seen. And now you could color the faces black or I'm choosing to color them yellow. In this case, I looked them up online and yes, mostly black, but I have seen a few yellow. So I'm just going with that. Started with a bright Y13 as my base and then YR20s to kind of uh, give them the warmth that I'm looking for in their shading. Their wings are a BG70 and a little bit of a BG72, just blending that back out with that BG70 to give it just a look of kind of an iridescent but still uh, clear white. I don't know. <laughs> That's kind of what I decided with that. All right, so now using the tag base, I cut out a piece of acetate and using the tag top, I cut out a piece of craft foam and I'm going to add 1 8 inch double sided tape all around both sides of that hexagon, that craft foam hexagon. And that's going to adhere to the acetate on one side and also to the base of the tag on the other side. Double-sided tape is so secure, I know none of my shaker bits are going to escape from my tag. I'm cutting the top of the tag off of the acetate. So now it's just a hexagon. And then I'll take that release paper off of the foam and I'll add that acetate right on top. And to cover all that, I have my canned pumpkin frame for my hexagon. And I'm gonna add some double-sided tape all around that hexagon and place that on top of the acetate. I love the versatility of this hexagon frame. I, I've used it to make some geometric birthday cards that, that aren't even bee related. I mean, it's just really a fun tag to have, especially for making masculine cards. For me, that's always a struggle and I love having geometric designs that I can use for those. Now, not just masculine, I mean, you know, use them with, for feminine cards too, but I just like that versatility of that hexagon shape. I added some adhesive with my tape runner on the back of this hive and placing it where I want it inside my tag. I wanted it a little bit higher so that when the shaker bits are at the bottom, you could still see the hive. And now I'm making sure all of my little bits are forward so I don't have any white pieces on, on the front showing. And I could have just cut those out of cardstock so that I didn't have to worry about that. But I liked having that blend of colors that are in the background. All right, adding that top, the craft foam to the base of my tag and now there it is. I've got my shaker all set to go. And now I'm just adding everything together. So here is a four and a quarter by five and a half inch note card. And then I'm adding the panel to that. And now my piece of black cardstock into the center. And then for my tag, I'm going to add a little bit of embroidery floss to attach it to the card. Sometimes I like to make the tag where it can be taken off the card and used in other ways. But uh, in this case, the way I have the sentiment that's gonna be attached and everything, it didn't need to have that detachable feature to it. So I'm just going to add a glue dot behind the black piece of paper and adhere that embroidery floss down, and position that panel back down in the center. That's a nice reason to use tape runner <laughs> adhesive rather than glue, so I can just reposition it. And then I'm gonna use another glue dot to tack down that tag in the center so that it doesn't move around. Now I get to arrange all of the bees around the hive 
and I love these cute little guys. They are just the bee's knees. <laughs> they are so adorable, and, and since this is a birthday card, I'm using every one of the bees, so I have the ones with the blowers in their mouths and also with hats on, and I'll have most of them buzzing about the bee day, the birthday. So some of them are going to say happy bee day and some will say buzz and then ones with the blowers will say twee. <laughs> so there are so many cute things that you can have these bees doing based on what's in this stamp set. Where we used to live in uh, the Chicago suburbs, we had a friend who was a beekeeper and so we always got great honey from, from them. But now uh, they moved to Texas. We moved up to Wisconsin and we now we just have to go to the farmer's market to get our honey. And well, we miss our friends, but more for <laughs> more than just for the honey. But um, boy, having that local honey is such a treat. And I hear it's great for your immune system too. So that's a win-win. All right, so you can see I'm stamping on all those little sayings and my bees are going to get rearranged a little bit here and there, but basically I have it the way I want it. I think my favorite one is this little twee <laughs> that, the, that the ones with the blowers are saying. So I've just got one saying it there. And this last guy is just going to say buzz. So now that I have all these bees swarming around the hive, I want to pull it all together. And so I'm going to use that background that I made. And I've got a banner, and that's from the Flippin' Awesome die set. And it's a nice small banner, and I'm going to put in the sentiment that comes in this Hive 5 stamp set. And it says, from the whole hive. And so that's going to really bring them all together. Since it's a little banner, I cut it out first and I added it back into that section that it was cut out of and that helped me to position it when I was stamping. All right, I'm going to add it to my tag and that's the last piece of the puzzle. So I've got everybody ready and I'm going to adhere them all down now. I you might notice that I haven't colored in the hats or the blowers yet. I wasn't sure what color I wanted those to be, so I was waiting for it to all be done before I colored those in. And so I've decided that they're going to just blend in with this card. They're not going to stick out. So using a YR09 to give them kind of a reddish orange color, a little darker than my other orange, a little brighter as well but uh, kind of keeping with that same color family. Then I'll blend that in with a YR04, and that's it. I'm feeling like this card is done. Gotta shake that shaker up a little bit. Then I thought, well, I could make those wings stand out just a little bit more if I give them a bit more contrast. So I'm using a cool gray three right at their body just to give that extra depth blended out a little bit with a C0, and now I feel like the card is done. Give it an extra shake, and we're all set. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video today featuring the new summer card kit, High Five. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. Bye!